So like my foot is stuck in there. I'm freaking out. The dog is having a seizure and I've still got half a pie left. That's a reference to something. If you don't know what it is, then go away. But if you know what that reference is, leave it in the comments below. All right, children, buckle up. It's story time. So as some of you might know, I got my wisdom teeth taken out in October, and I thought that I would share with you that experience. So first of all, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. So I'm going to take you through, like, everything that happened. My thought process and the whole shebang. The whole shebang. <laughs> so first of all, they didn't even put me under when I got them taken out. I thought they were supposed to give you the gas and you were supposed to pass the hell out and then they did that shit and bam, you wake up and it's as if no time has passed at all. But no, I got there and they're like, oh, we're not gonna give you the gas. Instead, here, take this pill. I'm like, a pill? Okay, all right, maybe this is gonna knock me out. And they're like, oh, don't worry. It'll, it'll make you feel drowsy. It'll make you wanna fall asleep and you won't remember anything. Okay, it did none of that. If it had done its job, I would not be telling you the story because I would not remember anything. So they bring me into the chair and I'm like, okay, maybe I'll start feeling drowsy soon. Maybe I'm gonna pass out so I don't have to be present during this whole process. No, I sit down, they're like, so are you feeling drowsy yet? No. Okay, well, we'll give you, we'll give you another 15 minutes and then we'll begin. All right, 15 minutes go by. I'm not drowsy. They come in. So are you drowsy yet? No. Okay, well, we're gonna begin anyway. Bitch. First of all, <laughs> if the pill is not doing its job, why are you proceeding with the procedure? I mean, you obviously gave me that pill for a reason, and if it's not working, then Try something else, don't just go through with the rest of the process. So I'm like, all right, I guess this is happening. So I lay down. The dentist is like, okay, I'm gonna put this gel on your gums to numb them so you don't feel it when I stick the needles in your face. I'm like, okay, all right. So he puts this gel on it. Most disgusting thing I have ever had the displeasure of putting in my mouth. He leaves me with this shit in my mouth. He comes back 10 minutes later. So, does your face feel numb yet? No. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go and put the needles in anyway. Okay. So first, this pill doesn't work. And then the numbing gel doesn't work. But they're still continuing. They go in. He goes, stabs me with the needles. He puts two here, two there, two there, and two there. I'm like, okay. I had to sit there with my mouth open like this for the entire process. They didn't put that weird thing in there. I had to do all the work myself. The dentist puts these needles in my face. He's like, you should be feeling the effects soon. Soon happens. I do not feel the effects. He's like, okay, I'm just gonna test to see if you could feel anything. So he goes in with the freaking knife, the scalpel, and he stabs my gum. I'm like, What the hell was that? He's like, oh, usually I tell people that I'm going in to see if, if it's numb, but I just begin anyway because it's supposed to be numb. And I'm like, well, obviously it's not numb. So what are you doing? There's no like safety net. You're, you're just going right in there without even seeing if, if, if the numbing agent worked. He's like, oh. Okay, I'll put another one in. Puts four more needles in my face. <sighs> and then he's like, okay, I'm going to check to see if it's working. Lies. He begins cutting into my face, but thankfully I did not feel it this time. I'm like, ooh, okay, thank God. So he's cutting into my face, whatever. He pops up these three when he gets to this one. So it was impacted, it was crooked as hell. And he cut into it, he's like, oh, I'm gonna have to drill a hole in it and then use a crowbar method to pop that out. I'm like, okay, that, that sounds extremely painful. He's like, oh no, don't worry. 
you have the anesthetic, it won't hurt at all. So then, he goes in, drills the hole, he sticks the tool in, and I feel it hit my nerve, and I'm like, like, I, like, reacted and I, like, hit his hand, I'm like, what the hell? I thought I wasn't supposed to feel that. He's like, you're not supposed to feel that, and so why do I feel it? He's like, okay, we'll put another needle in there. He begins to prep the needle. He's holding the needle over my body. I don't know about you, but like when you fix your shirt, you go like that, whatever. Like you move yourself. So I had to fix my shirt. I move and I stick my hand with the needle. The, the needle with the numbing agent is now in my hand. And I look up at the doctor with, my, with the needle still in my hand. I'm like, and he's like, oh, sorry. And I'm like, okay. And I like move my hand off of the needle because he didn't even like move the needle out of my hand. He was just standing there holding it like this. As my hand was losing feeling, he's holding this needle and I'm like, mm. so he gets another needle. <laughs> now this is a total of, I don't know, countless needles in my body. My hand is going numb. He sticks the needle in my face. Whatever, he pops out the tooth. And he begins sewing up my face, whatever. And then he forgot to sew up this one. Okay. I'll just bleed to death in this chair. Thank you, sir. And the only thing that this, this little pill that they gave me at the beginning did was make me high as hell. So I was loopy as shit in this chair with my mouth bleeding, my hand numb, I can't like, like my face is like drooping and shit. The hygienist comes in to check on me. She's like, are you okay? What do I begin doing? I begin singing, I can't feel my face when I'm with you to her. She begins like laughing. I'm like, Haha, I impressed the dental hygienist. And she's like, oh, you're so funny. And I'm like, yeah, I know. And then she just left. I don't think, I don't think she thought I was funny at all. She was just saying that. The dentist comes back in and he's like, how are you doing? I'm like, after that traumatic experience, I don't know if I'm gonna need therapy. He's like, oh, don't worry. You'll forget it because of that pill we gave you earlier. I'm like, okay, cool. And I did not forget it. So then, <laughs> After the whole ordeal, I have to go and get these antibiotics. I don't know what the hell happened, but I'm like, oh no, it's okay, I'm 16 years old. My brother was like, Stefan, you're 18. And I'm like, how long was I in there? So the only thing that this dentist did prepping me for this surgery was make me high as shit. That's all. He gave me, he, he gave me drugs. I thought that I was 16 and I was shocked to hear that I wasn't. Moral of the story, if you're immune to most medicines and antibiotics like myself, do not ever get your wisdom teeth removed. Bad shit will happen. So that is it for this week's video guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. As I said before, if you know what that reference is from, then leave it in the comments down below. Also, if you have any interesting stories about doctor's visits or hospital visits or any sort of medical situation, leave it in the comments below because I would love to feel better about my situation. And reading your terrible experiences can make me feel better. Share this video with someone who's planning on getting their wisdom teeth taken out to freak the shit out of them. And share this with normal people because normal people would like this too. Goodbye!